Two cruise ships carrying coronavirus patients, some who are dead, keep sailing towards South Florida. But a meeting on Tuesday brought many more questions about what may happen if the ships approach our shores. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo is live at Port Everglades with several updates. Jessica, good morning. Well, this just coming in, according to Sky News, a British man was among one of the four who died in these on Dom cruise ship. But those cruise ships are expected to be near this port Thursday. Yesterday, many Broward commissioners did agree with Governor Ron DeSantis, saying they still believe this is a bad idea to allow these ships to dock here. There's still no approved plan to get more than 1,200 passengers off Holland America's Zadam and Rotterdam ships. Both are expected near Port Everglades Thursday afternoon. Miami-based Carnival Corporation is Holland America's parent company. Two ships up here that have, they do have some COVID on board. Um, they have four passengers who are deceased. Broward leaders will gather again to potentially finalize a plan later this week. The cruise line says from blood tests on the ship, it believes there are eight passengers who have coronavirus. That includes two of the four who have died. And one crew member is positive. From Tallahassee, Governor Ron DeSantis says he wants the passengers taken elsewhere. To drop people off at the place where, you know, we're having the highest number of cases right now, you know, just, just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now here's the latest proposal on these Adam 14 people with flu-like symptoms will stay on board until cleared to travel by the CDC. If they're really sick, they'll be flown to the hospital. The cruise line says 66 people on these Adam and one on the Rotterdam have recovered. We're working to put in place the flights that we need, charter the flights um, <clears throat> or other flights to get, to get <clears throat> people where they, they need to go. If allowed to dock at Port Everglades, the cruise line says it will place healthy passengers from the West Coast, Canada and Europe on charter buses straight to the tarmac and then flown on private charter flights. Floridians will either drive or the cruise line will have ground transportation. The remaining ones will follow CDC guidelines for their direct travel home. Crew members will stay on the ships. These people have been turned away from so many countries, one after the other. We are their last hope. They've been on the cruise ship since March 7th and haven't been on land since March 14th. And they've been self-isolating since March 22nd. Also Tuesday morning, BSO Fire Rescue confirmed a crew member in his 50s was taken to the hospital from Port Everglades. Deputies say he was on Crown Princess with flu-like symptoms. And nobody has said whether he was tested for coronavirus. And Broward County Commissioners are set to meet Thursday morning to decide on this issue. We're live in Port Everglades, Jessica Vallejo, CBS4, this morning.